He knew that Muhammad was a prophet. In fact, another rabbi also came up to me and he said to me, we know Muhammad is a prophet. And he quoted to me a passage from the Bible. Children of Israel, remember my favor wherewith I favored you and fulfill your part of the covenant. I shall fulfill my part of the covenant and fear me, and believe in that which I reveal, confirming that which ye possess already of the scripture. And be not first to disbelieve therein, and part not with my revelations for a trifling price, and keep your duty unto me. Confound not truth with falsehood, nor knowingly conceal the truth. And verily we gave unto Moses the scripture, and we caused a train of messengers to follow after him, and we gave unto Jesus, son of Mary, clear proofs of Allah's sovereignty, and we supported him with the Holy Spirit. Is it ever so, that when there cometh unto you a messenger from Allah, with that which ye yourselves desire not, ye grow arrogant, and some ye disbelieve, and some ye slay. And they say, Our hearts are hardened. Nay, but Allah hath cursed them for their unbelief. Little is that which they believe. And when there cometh unto them a scripture from Allah, confirming that in their possession, though before that they were asking for a signal triumph over those who disbelieved, and when there cometh unto them that which they know to be the truth, they disbelieve therein. The curse of Allah is on disbelievers. And when Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, lo, I am the messenger of Allah unto you, confirming that which was revealed before me in the Torah, and bringing good tidings of a messenger who cometh after me, whose name is the praised one. Yet, when he hath come unto them, with clear proofs, they say, This is mere magic. O people of the scripture, why disbelieve ye in the revelations of Allah, when ye yourselves bear witness to their truth? O people of the scripture, why confound ye truth with falsehood, and knowingly conceal the truth? Those unto whom we gave the scripture recognize this revelation, as they recognize their sons. But lo, a party of them knowingly conceal the truth. O people of the scripture, now hath our messenger come unto you, expounding unto you much of that which ye used to hide in the scripture, and forgiving much. Now hath come unto you light from Allah, and a plain scripture. We sent thee not save as a mercy for the peoples. Say, it is only inspired in me that your God is one God. Will ye then surrender unto him? He was sent with an irrefutable truth. 
He was a man dealing gently with all people. Never in his life did he ever lift his hand to hit any human being. Ever! Not a servant, not a wife, not a child, not a friend. He was a mercy to the world. He was the best example to follow. He was the last prophet of mankind. He was sent to all the mankind and the jinn. He was victorious over all systems. And he was created on an exalted standard. Never drank alcohol throughout his life. Never used any kind of intoxicant. He never committed fornication or adultery. He never looked upon any woman with lust in his entire life. This was the manner of the Prophet His tolerance, his mercy, his patience, his integrity. Feeding the poor, visiting the sick, discharging the army, acting as a statesman, acting as an arbiter, sewing his clothes, washing his house, shopping for the food, doing all the things that you and I do, and at night, standing in prayer for four or five hours at a time. And in the day, fighting the battles, discharging the armies, giving the ahkam and the rulings, explaining the Quran, instructing the people in behavior. How could a man do all of that and stand four or five hours at night at one time? What kind of human being could that be? It was a messenger. It was a prophet. This was a man with a message. This was a man in this world, but always thinking about the hereafter. Oh Muslims, oh non-Muslims, think about this kind of man. Have you heard of such a man? Have you ever seen such a man? Have you read about such a man? He was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Muhammad, mercy upon mankind He was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Muhammad, mercy upon mankind, teacher of all mankind. الله عليه وسلم